Visa has announced today that consumers of, the, of a Visa Bank partnership in Kenya will be able to send money to each other domestically without paying any transaction fees at all while using M-Visa. The partnership offering a free person-to-person uh, -person transactions currently includes nine Kenyan banks who have either enabled M-Visa on their mobile banking applications and or have acquired merchants to be able to accept M-Visa. These are Barclays Bank, Cooperative Bank, Eco Bank, Family Bank, KCB, National Bank of Kenya, NIC Bank, Prime Bank, and Standard Chartered Bank. You will be able to send money for free starting as from today. Other banks either live or about to go live with M-Visa include DTB, that is Diamond Trust Bank, and Stanbic. This, of course, is a significant move, especially when you consider how much Kenyans spend on transaction fees for mobile money transfers every year. With about 38.9 million active mobile user subscriptions and about 515.9 billion shillings in personal money transfers within the last quarter of 2016, mobile money payments have become an integral part of Kenyans' lives. M-Visa is a mobile payment solution backed by Visa's global partnership network, which enables consumers to pay merchants or send money to friends and family direct from their bank accounts via their mobile banking applications. Well, quite a mouthful there, but to break all that down, Sunny Walia is General Manager for East Africa for Visa. He is here in studio with us now and now joins us to be able to give us the lowdown on what exactly this means, especially because this is something that is expected to literally disrupt the market. Karibu sana. Thanks, Peter. Well, first off, uh, maybe you can, uh, despite having put it like that, the way I just have uh, trying to explain it, what exactly has Visa done today? Because we had the word free, but we are not mostly sure what is going on. Yeah, before uh, we get into the economics, I, yes. I, I thought it would be a good idea to just give you and your consumers yeah. um, a sense of what we're trying to do uh -huh. with the service. Definitely. Well, M-Visa is nothing but uh, a simple acceptance channel. Uh, that uh -huh. works uh, with the digital functionality uh -huh. uh, wherein the consumers can pay either their friends or family uh -huh. or they can pay merchants by uh -huh. scanning a simple you know qr code yes. a quick response code uh -huh. uh, which can be either static or dynamic uh -huh. and the the beauty of the service is that it works within the the uh, mobile banking applications mm -hmm. of the banks, mm -hmm. uh, both on feature phones as well as smartphones, mm -hmm. and the mo money moves directly. Uh, from the bank account of a consumer to another bank account, which mm -hmm. could be uh, that of a recipient mm -hmm. or a merchant's bank account. So there is uh, really no need to cash in or cash out. Mm -hmm. right? So the mon money remains bef uh, in between or within the, uh, the banking system. So this code can be found at the merchants and you simply, well, just... Uh, Scan it on your phone and voila, the transaction is complete. Well, yeah, one we see one uh, transaction. Yes. Uh, let's take a look. Yes. So essentially this is a, a mm -hmm. quick response code which yes. has been printed on a piece of paper mm -hmm. and essentially uh, either augments, complements or even replace mm -hmm. uh, a traditional point of sale terminal yes. which uh, costs anywhere between 200 and 400 uh, dollars. Yes. Uh, very expensive for the merchant yes. uh, and also you know uh, entails a lot of infrastructure. What we've done with this QR code is yes. basically replaced all that that expense mm -hmm. for the merchants okay. and made it easy for the merchants to take payments. Mm -hmm. So the way it works is uh, the consumer will walk into the the merchant's, uh, yes. let's say, store and invoke yes. from their phone. Maybe we'll just uh, stand let's up take, to be let's able take to... take a look. Sorry. Yes. So you are saying you just uh, walk into the merchants? Yeah. So why don't you uh, no, assume the role of a, of yes. a merchant? Yes. And here is my, my mobile phone mm -hmm. and essentially here is a mobile banking app for a yes. bank, yes. and if I want to pay you as yes. the merchant, mm -hmm. uh, within the M Visa functionality, yes. there are there is one way to pay. So first, which I have is, to get the M Visa app. You have to you have to actually not get the M Visa app. Yes. M Visa is embedded uh -huh. within the bank's mobile banking uh -huh. so application. I go to my mobile banking app and go to the M Visa app. Yeah. That's right. There is a pay with M Visa functionality. Yes. And if you want to pay a merchant, mm -hmm. you just simply scan a QR code, yes. enter the amount, mm -hmm. let's say 12 currency units, mm -hmm. and voila. Uh -huh. So it sent. says, I can see a ticket, it says the payment has been sent. Right. Uh -huh. so, and the consumer gets a notification, so does the merchant. If mm -hmm. you had a phone yes. that was attached and to... And how much will this cost the consumer? Nothing. Yes. 
whether they are paying the merchant or sending money to friends and family. Mm -hmm. It will cost them nothing. So if I'm sending money, for example, say to my grandmother who's up country using the same sort of thing, what do I have to do? Same thing? Absolutely. Uh, yes. All you've got to do is mm -hmm. uh, basically uh, download the mobile banking application yes. uh, that is provided by your bank. Mm -hmm. And if the bank is participating in the service, yes. you're able to send money to your grandmother or your friends, mm -hmm. family, uh, or other parts of your family or pay a merchant. Yes, and again, this is free. Uh, it is free for those banks that are in the in the yes. partnership that we yes. announced last night. Mm -hmm. So how long uh, will it be continue to be free? Uh, is it a promotion? Is it something we can expect to get even better going forward as you increase uh, more merchants? Because I can see uh, it's, it, it's, you're creating an ecosystem. Uh, that is absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I mean, Kenyans uh, have for a number of years, uh, you know, paid to pay. Uh, and mm -hmm. what we are trying to do is uh, to to basically disrupt that model where yes. the consumers have been paying to pay. Yes. Actually, consumers should get rewarded to pay. Mm -hmm. And that is the model that you see everywhere uh, across the planet. Yes. It's just that in Africa, particularly mm -hmm. in, in Kenya, yes. where the consumers actually pay to pay. Mm -hmm. uh, so so that, is, uh, uh, that is the idea. And to yes. answer your other question around whether it's an introductory price or... Yes. You know, is there uh, any other pricing coming? Uh, yes. Absolutely not. This is yes. not an introductory price. Mm -hmm. The uh, and the banks uh, have a made uh, they have made a commitment that they will not be charging for the service. Yes. So great product indeed, a great opportunity for disruption, especially seeing how many mobile connections that are there. The question then is, how do you make your money? Because a lot of people would be saying, hmm, it's free. So how are they making the money? Why are they in it? Well, the big news is that these, these services are going to be free to the consumers. Yes. Uh, we don't charge the consumers in, yes. a, in, 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 the, in the ecosystem that we've built. Mm -hmm. We are uh, operating in a four-party model yes. where our clients are banks, mm -hmm. whether they are uh, the cardholder's bank or they are the merchant's bank. Yes. So our clients are banks. We don't charge the consumers. Yes. Mm -hmm. So then how do you, um, uh, because... Banks already have some mobile applications of their own, others are uh, developing. We have some which are dominant in the market, others which have been trying to come up. Why should we use MVisa? Why would they say, I'll use this service and not the other one? Well, f first off, I think let's go back to the basics as to yes. what are we trying to do with the service. Yes. Uh, from the network's mm -hmm. uh, point of view, mm -hmm. uh, w the disruption that we are trying to cause is uh, for cash. Yes, there is a lot of cash in uh, East Africa, there, yes. particularly in Kenya. Uh -huh. uh, the Kenyan market uh, is, from an annualized basis, yes. a seventy billion dollars GDP market. A lot GDP of it is market. actually locked out by access and cost. So this is what you're trying to sort out, correct? Absolutely, uh, yes. to give the consumer more options uh -huh. and uh, make the the payment experience as seamless yes. uh, and and easy as possible, mm -hmm. without uh, uh, having the consumers worry about transaction fees. Yes. Indeed, time does fly when you're talking about something interesting. We're almost closing. We have just a few minutes. But I'd like you to take us through the process uh, once again, uh, because it's something that uh, our viewers are saying is interesting. And they want to see just exactly how this works. So maybe we can just go through the, uh, well, uh, the way that uh, this app exactly works. So you said, I walk into the merchant shop, pick my goods, then after having calculated the cost, then what? Well, the merchant presents me yes. with a QR code. Yes. And I, as a consumer, mm -hmm. uh, invoke the mobile banking app from yes. my, my phone, mm -hmm. and I'd see Maybe something. Maybe you can just hold that up to the camera so they can see that. I'm not sure they can uh, quite get it, yes. So yeah. it looks like uh, there we go. something like that, yes. There we go. And then you select uh, the option. And then you select the option, pay with them visa. Yes. And it asks you to enter your PIN. Mm -hmm. You enter your PIN. I hope that's not your real PIN. No, it's not. Uh -huh. And then, the and then loads, yes. you get the MVs of functionality mm -hmm. where you can pay a merchant, you can send money, you mm -hmm. can cash out if yes. you want. Yes. Uh, but let's say in this case, I want to pay you as a merchant. Mm -hmm. I picked up the QR code, so it's so fast. Uh -huh. It's already picked up. Yes, yes. So, so let's do it again. Look, uh -huh. it's, it's picked it up. Yes. And, uh, so ideally, that would uh, be the cost of the goods you've Correct. Taken. And, yes. and you uh, would give so me as a merchant shillings, yes. the, let's say, 200 shillings. Yes. And... There we go. There 
it's sending all the information that is picked uh -huh. up from the QR code, like yes. the merchant name, the merchant ID. It it's sorting yes. it out. There we go. Uh -huh. Voila. Yes. Okay. So then uh, my final question for you is, uh, this works very well for people with uh, smartphones. What about the feature phones? Well, it, it, the functionality works the same way yes. uh, for a feature phone yes. using the USSD short phones. Uh -huh. So the USSD will get you to the same place. Exactly. And, exactly the same and, place. and for that to happen, instead yes. of scanning the QR code, yes. uh, you would, as a consumer, yes. uh, type in the M Visa ID. Ah, okay. That's a, well, a story for another day. We'll have you take us through that a uh, few weeks down the road when we're gauging how well it has worked. But indeed, thank you very much, sir, for taking the time to talk to us. New innovations and disruptions always have a place on KTN Business today. So, thank you, Sam. Thank you, Peter. Yes. Well, that's where we want to bring it to a close here today on KTN Business. Today has been a day of fasts, of course. M Visa coming to town and uh, showing us how we can send money indeed to transact for free. And of course, that interview there with the global uh, president of Tennessee, part of the LVMH group, which is the world's leading, uh, well, Visa, uh, sorry, luxury goods uh, company. Well, that's where we want to bring it to a close here on KTN Business Today for today, but we'll be back next week at the same time on Monday with more at 2 o'clock. Do continue watching because up next is Worldview with 